What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny, and today I'm going to bring you a review of the Doom of Chelchis Scout Rifle that is obtainable from the King's Fall Raid on Normal or Hard. For the Normal Mode, you get the regular version of the Doom of Chelchis, and if you do the Hard Mode version of the King's Fall Raid, you get the Harrowed version, which is like, exact same weapon, but it just has a different, like, uh camo i guess it's different uh, color it's darker it's blacker instead of like a light white color so if you want a different color do the hard made hard mode but it doesn't really matter they're both the same weapon with the same perks and everything so not that big of a deal so for this weapon it's a scout rifle primary scout rifle that i think is probably one of the better ones in the game i would probably put this in the top five category for scout rifles instead of destiny because i was pretty excited when i got it it's one of the better ones like i said and it does range from four different perks. I forget all four, but I know the best two are probably a range finder and a full auto. The one I have now is 310 full auto. I got it from the challenge mode. Um, I think Golgoth challenge mode or Oryx challenge mode. It's one of the two. But um, I was pretty happy when I got it. It was one of the better scouts in the game, and I was excited when I got range finder because I finally got my first scout. I think it's, I've gotten it before, but I never got the perk I wanted on it. So I was probably pretty content when I first got it with rangefinder. So this gun is pretty decent. Rate of fire is pretty good. The only downside to this thing I would say is the reload speed. As you can tell, is kind of slow for a scout. A little bit. It's slower than the hung jury for sure. But um, I'd say the reload on this weapon is pretty bad. But you can run small bore or hand loaded. I think small bore decreases the reload. While um, uh, hand loaded increases the range and it like brings back the reload to a decent amount. So here, let's go go over the perks on the Doom of Chelchis. So for the Doom of Chel Chelchis, like I said before, it's a 310 primary, a 310 attack with rangefinder and of course cocoon, which is the only downside to this weapon. That having cocoon takes away that perk of having a different perk, such as like full auto or like anything else that it, the hung jury has, such as firefly or triple tap. So for this gun, pretty good rate of fire. I wouldn't say it's that great, but impact's pretty high, range pretty good, stability is kind of average, reload is kind of slow. With a mag of 17 with small bore, 19 with hand loaded, and of course you can tell the difference between small bore and hand loaded. So I like to run small bore because I get increased stability and range with lower lower reload, but it still isn't that big of a deal to me. So you got will of light dealing bonus damage against taken enemies. You got linear compensator. Accurized Ballistics and Field Choke really has no difference between these other than Field Choke decreases the stability, so I'd rather run Accurized Ballistics or Linear Compensator. Basically the same thing. So you got Cocoon when stowed for a short time, this weapon is automatically reloaded from reserves. So if you switch weapons and you're using your Sniper, your 1000 yard stay or something, this weapon will automatically reload for you if it is not your currently equipped weapon. So for the middle column you got Hand Loaded, you get increased reload speed. Basically, comparing the small bore, you get increased reload speed, but hand loaded increases the range. While it got lightweight, I really wouldn't recommend this unless you want to run faster. And you got small bore, which increases the range and stability even more, while you get a slower reload and a reduced max size, which I think is probably the best option to run with on the Doom of Chelchis. And the last one, I got Rangefinder. I forget all four of the perks, but I know Rangefinder and Full Auto, like I said before, are probably the two best perks to get on the Doom of Chelchis if you ever get the drop. I recommend keeping this weapon if you do get one of the two. So I think range ranger is good. Increases the range, the damage fall off of the weapon, which I think is pretty helpful for a scout rifle. On um, PVE, I wouldn't recommend this for PVE, so range finder will be really helpful for that. PVP wise, I really wouldn't recommend this thing for a scout. The only scout I would recommend for PVP, as you know, would probably be the Mida Multi Tool. But for this weapon being in PVE, I wouldn't really use it for PVP at all. So this weapon, the Demon of Chelsea, that you can tame from the normal mode raid, King's Fall, I would say it's a pretty good weapon to go for. I think it drops from Oryx, I believe. Oryx only. So if you get lucky, you can do that and get the Doom of Chelchis, the normal version from normal mode and the Herald version from hard mode. So whichever you prefer, the Herald version drops at 310 plus while the regular normal mode Doom of Chelchis drops from 300 to 310. So your choice, do whatever you want. This weapon, I would recommend it for any user does not have a good primary right now. The Doom of Chelchis is a good scout rifle to run with in PvE. PvP wise, I wouldn't really recommend it, but this gun is easily in my top 5 for scout rifles. So if you guys enjoyed this review of the Doom of Chelchis scout rifle, 
that is obtainable from the King's Fall raid from normal and hard. But don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Back inside Destiny. Peace.